Welcome to Environ's presentation of our all out attack on acne. So what we are trying to do today is give you a good overview on what Environ's approach is to peeling. This includes a series of chemical peels and the correct home care products. We're going to learn about the problems facing a problematic skin and what Environ can do to help. You're going to prescribe a home care regimen and series of professional treatments and launch our all-out attack on acne today. So first we have a look at the anatomy of acne. Acne is a testosterone-induced dermatitis characterized by multiple microapses of the sebaceous follicle. Acne comes at a time of hormonal change, sexual maturation, matura maturation and social stress. Acne is significantly increased by stress. Some known causes of problem skin include cortisone, barbiturates, um, lithium, and a lack of vitamin B12, B6, B12, or folic acid. Our incidence of acne, it's estimated that 85% of adolescent population experiences this, co this condition. The prevalence of comedones during adolescence approaches nearly 100%. It appears that acne vulgaris is increased in the number of patients over the age of 25 who has either late onset or persistent problematic skin. It affects 8% of 25 to 34 year olds and 3% of 35 to 44 year olds. It affects almost half the population of the US and less than 90% of Americans are affected in puberty. 50% of adults have acne to some degree and male acne peaks during the age of 15 to 25 and female acne peaks between the ages of 25 and 45. So every year it's estimated that 5 million prescriptions for antibiotics for acne are issued. In the US, prescriptions and over-the-counter sales of acne treatments is a $1.1 billion industry. So we need to understand what makes acne work. So problematic skin is a disease of the pilosopaceous follicles, the areas surrounding the hairs before they emerge onto the skin. It is characterized by redness, comedones, papules, pustules, and nodules. And there can also be possible scarring. So what we have to do is watch how a normal sebaceous gland functions. So when we look at how a normal, normal sebaceous gland functions, they are holocrine glands and the cells on the edge grow bigger and they get filled with an oily substance as they move towards the central part of the gland. The cells enlarge until they rupture and the whole contents of the cells then become sebum. The sebum escapes from the gland through its duct which is connected to the hair follicle and the sebum reaches the surface of the skin where it plays a part in the natural protection and skin surface protection. Now, the earliest change in the pilosebaceous unit is follicular hyperkeratinization, which is associated with both increased proliferation and decreased desquamation of the keratinocytes lining the follicle. The result is the formation of a hyperkeratotic plug composed of a mixture of sebum and keratin. This, is create what, this creates what is called a microcomedone of the follicular canal. Why this process occurs is not known and initially the comedone is not visible at all in the follicle and it appears normal. Later the follicle becomes enlarged and this is called a whitehead. Even later the surface of the comedone becomes larger, oxidized and contaminated and appears dark. And that's the blackhead. The comedone itself is hardened and waxy and stuck to the side walls of the follicle. So the sebum produced in the sebaceous gland lower cannot get onto the surface and so 
starts to build up in the sebaceous gland itself. This shows up as a nodule that can become quite large, but it's not inflamed. Sebum provides a growth medium for propionobacterium, which is an anaerobic bacterium that does not require oxygen to live and is a normal component of skin bacteria. Microcomedones provide an anaerobic or oxygen poor but lipid rich environment that allows these bacteria to thrive. They utilize triglycerides as a nutrient source by hydrolyzing them into free fatty acids and glycerol. As the propione bacterium problem skins proliferate, inflammation develops. The organism releases chemicals which attract white blood cells and the lysosomal or destructive enzymes released by neutrophils result in a rupture of the follicle epithelium. Lipids and keratins are thereby extruded into the surrounding dermis which leads to pus formation or the pimple. So we have increasing levels of testosterone. It's charged, changed to dihydrotestosterone by an enzyme. The enzyme is called alpha reductase. Dihydrotestosterone stimulates the sebaceous cell to make more sebum. It may also change the properties of the sebum, but it's not been proved. The importance of understanding this is that if you can block the action of alpha reductase, then you can reduce the amount of dihydrotestosterone that is produced. Consequently, one reduces the amount of sebum that is produced and also the likelihood of acne. Why we want people to understand this is because the new Sebi Gel A contains an ingredient that blocks alpha reductase. Follicular hypercornification, all epidermal cells are connected to each other by desmosomes, which comprise of tonofilaments. These anchor the cells to each other and eventually, as the cells get to the stratum corneum, the desmosomes get weaker and eventually at the very surface of the stratum corneum, the desmosomes rupture and so there is no contact between the cells. That's why the cells are shed. If there's a problem with too early loss of the desmosomes, then of course one gets problems like eczema. If they are retained for too long, then you get thick calluses and very scaly skin. Now we believe that substance P is an essential to teach about it because people are puzzled about why acne is more common at times of stress like exam time or emotional problems. The explanation at present is that substance P which acts on nerves around the sebaceous gland promote the secretion of more sebum. You can explain this in the same way that people are, that are under stress may sweat more even though they are not hot. It's entirely due to nerve simulation. P acnes thrive in an anaerobic environment. Then, when inflammation and microdomins, microcomedones cut off the air circulation to the follicle, it allows them to thrive, creating more inflammation. They are an important part of skin physiology, contributing to the skin's natural pH by creating free fatty acids which have an acidic pH. Now the danger of drying out the skin sends the P acne down into the follicle in search of food. This changes the pH of the hair follicle from a more neutral pH to a more acidic pH by introducing free fatty acids to the area. The pH change further contributes to acne and inflammation. So in summary, the treatment of problematic skin includes a number of topical and systemic therapies and is guided by the type of clinical lesions present. It, take five, it takes five days to eight weeks for microcomedones to mature into problem skin. Thus, any therapy must be continued beyond this duration in order to assess its efficacy. Comedones that become inflamed are always nearly clinically invisible 
before the pustule develops. P. acnes metabolize sebaceous triglycerides, consuming the glycerol fraction and discarding the free fatty acids. And those free fatty acids are released, they rupture into tissues and further exasperate inflammation. Patients must understand that topical treatments work by preventing new lesions, not shrinking ones that have already formed. Thus, the treatment should be applied faithfully to all skin that can be affected, not just the visible lesions. The black tip of the comedone cannot be removed by scrubbing. Vigorous washing may actually aggravate it and make things worse. So Environ's Sebu Wash range is designed for problematic skins of all ages. This has to be used in conjunction with the AVST or intensive range because the higher the level of vitamin A used, the greater the chance for resolution of the problematic skin. The active range may also be used in conjunction with a series of light chemical peels. The B-active range should be used in sequence to obtain optimum results. High levels of vitamin A can eventually be introduced to the regimen if the results are slow. Alpha hydroxy acids can be introduced to support this range if necessary. The three basic core ingredients used in this range are Australian tea tree oil for its antiseptic properties, colostrum for its soothing and calming effect, and salicylic, salicylic acid for its exfoliating properties. This is designed for use on problematic skins. The product should be used in sequence as described. It can take up to three months to see an improvement, but alpha hydroxys and the intensive range can support this result. We start with our key active ingredients and beta hydroxy acids form part. There are acids derived from fruits and plants and we use salicylic acid. We use salicylic acid as it's a fat soluble so we have better penetration into the hair follicle and it has a better keratolytic or exfoliation effect on the skin. There are many varieties of tea tree oil in Australia but only Melaleuca alternifolia can be used to distill into the medicinal tea tree. Tea tree grows naturally on the floodplains of north coast of New South Wales and the southern Queensland coast of Australia. The trees from this area have a high turpine 4 ol content and low cineol content, while those from further, further south generally have a higher cineol content, and this means that they can cause mucous membrane and skin irritation. A high turpine 4 ol content predicts better healing properties. Tea tree is a powerful antiseptic that is useful against bacteria and fungi. For this reason, it has been used successfully in conditions like problematic skin and also athlete's foot. Tea tree oil also promotes healing of skin wounds, including burn wounds. Colostrum is a thick yellow fluid rich in protein, growth factors, immune factors, and it's secreted by the mammary glands of all mammals during the first few days of lactation. It's very useful in the treatment of bacterial and vir viral infections, allergies, and autoimmune diseases. Colostrum contains immunoglobulins, which help function as antibodies. Cytokines regulate the body's immune response. Lactoferrin protein that transports iron to red blood cells. It has growth factors, insulin-like growth factors, epithelial growth factors, transforming growth factors, platelet-derived growth factors, leukocytes, and enzymes that oxidize bacteria. For our clients, that are allergic to aspirin and are unable to use products that contain salicylic acid, we recommend the following regimen. One can pre-cleanse with our AVST pre-cleansing oil, adding the AVST exfoliating mask to massage. 
Wash off with the cleansing gel and tone with the Alpha Toner 40. One can then apply the AVST gel or Sebu gel A, doing so morning and night. During the daytime, one would add the sunscreen SPF of 25. For those not allergic to aspirin, one would use the Sebu Prep. This is a deep, specific pre-cleanser that's the most important step in the control of breakouts. It helps to retain the natural oils of the skin while minimizing obstructions of the sebaceous follicles, thereby removing an important cause of breakouts. Sebuprep acts as a solvent for sebum and can dissolve the plugs that obstruct the sebaceous glands. Mineral oil and salicylic acid combine their actions to remove follicular plugs. As a result, the ducts are cleared and the sebum can drain. Both blackheads and whiteheads can be reduced simply with Sebuprep. Since the plugs are the root cause of problematic skin, removing them reduces the chances of blemishes developing. It contains mineral oil, tea tree oil, and salicylic acid. It's fragrance and preservative free. It does not contain a sunscreen. One would use it by massaging it into the skin as part of a pre-cleansing regimen. Sebu Mask is a specifically formulated mask to help balance the skin, clear impurities, and fight blemishes. It has dual benefits, improving and hydrating the skin, while simultaneously removing excess oils from the surface. Thus refines the appearance of skin and helps to prevent the clogging of hair follicles. It also aids in soothing irritation and reducing redness, thereby assisting in achieving a clear, problem-free complexion. Sebu Mask is fragrance and preservative-free and does not contain a sunscreen. You'll apply it to clean, toned skin in a thick, even layer over the whole face, excluding the eyelids. It will initially give an opaque white appearance, but will gradually become transparent. Ideally, the mask should be left on for an hour. Then you'll wet it slightly, massage thoroughly into the skin for an ultra-mild exfoliation before washing off with your preferred cleanser. It's recommended that one uses Sebu mask daily. Alternatively, as part of your pre-cleansing regimen, one can apply on top of Sebu Prep and massage with the fingertips, microexfoliate, rinsing off with water, and cleansing with your preferred environment cleanser. Sebu Wash is a gel cleanser in a very mild formula with a low foaming activity. Again, the antibacterial properties of the Australian tea tree oil and the mild exfoliating properties of the salicylic contained in the Sebu Wash make it an ideal cleanser for people with problem skin. Sebu Wash also includes an ingredient combined with soy protein to disperse excess oil on the skin. This is a polyanionic biopolymer that literally makes oil fragments into tiny droplets and disappear from view. The advantage is that it does not stimulate the sebaceous gland to produce more oil to replace the oil that's been removed. Sebu Wash is fragrance and preservative free. Sebu Tone is a stronger toner than our conventional Alpha Toner Mild, yet not as strong as the Alpha Toner Forte. Natural lactic acid is used with the result that the toner burns less than if glycolic acid were included in the formula. The lactic acid lowers the pH of the skin, fortifies the acid mantle, and also improves hydration. That means that the horny layer will naturally develop to be smoother with a small, if more effective waterproofing barrier. In addition, the excess horny layer of the skin in people with rough skin is removed and the surface becomes smoother. The, this promotes the action of the salicylic acid in clearing the excess loose horny layer. As a result, the chances for obstruction of the skin follicle are further minimized. There is a very low dose of alcohol included in the formula which helps to decrease and then enhance penetration of the Zebugel A. Sebujol A contains a very low dose of vitamin A in a combination with colostrum and tea tree oil to reduce the production of sebum, smooth the horny layer, disinfect the skin. Sebujol A does not contain a fragrance or sunscreen, but it does contain a preservative. This is the only product along with Sebuspot that can be used should the person be allergic to salicylic. It's important to remember that one has to use the AVST range or intensive range conjunction with the Sebu Jar A since the level of vitamin A in it is too low to be effective at reducing sebaceous secretions. 
Sebi Spot is a mild, effective gel designed particularly for use on inflamed areas of the skin as it helps to reduce redness, relieve congestion, and dry skin blemishes. Its effectiveness can be attributed to the combination of the four key ingredients, Australian tea tree oil, parthenol, acnocidal, and niacinamide. The Australian tea tree oil is of course renowned for its antibacterial and soothing properties. Provitamin B5 assists in breaking down skin oils and helps to soothe irritated skin. Acnocidal is a breakthrough active ingredient with remarkable sebum regulating properties. It consists of a complex of synthetic omega fatty acids and alcohols. It has the ability to inhibit the excessive secretion of sebum as a, and has a slight keratolytic action thereby hindering the development of pimples and blackheads. Niacinamide is a physiologically active form of B3 that exhibits proven topical anti-inflammatory properties. It's vital for a healthy skin as it improves blood circulation to the skin surface, supplying it with oxygen and nutrients. Sebi Spot is fragrance and preservative free and it does not contain a sunscreen. Noting that peeling the skin will assist in the treatment of acne and environs corporeal system has very, very positive effects. In some cases where results may not be visible or extremely slow, we can add the alpha gel to is useful as a treatment at night under your Sebi gel A or at the pre-cleansing stage on top of the Sebi prep. We can begin to increase the levels of vitamin A by adding retinol 1 and applying that after your Sebi Jar A or as a cocktail. A breakout can occur at this stage and it must be explained to the client. Augmenting your home care regimen with a professional series of peels. Retinol palmitate is, contrary to the general opinion, a very effective but also very kind form of vitamin A that clients enjoy using in contrast to retinoic acid. We recommend starting a minimum of three weeks prior to peeling to ensure the best results from your peel series. The following will affect the outcome of the chemical peels. Five minutes of a peel will be very different on a thick skin or degree skin versus a thin skin or oily skin. So how well the skin is degreased, the concentration of the acid, number of layers applied, the skin type and damage, Length of time on the skin will all determine how effectively the peel penetrates the skin. A level one depth peel where we just superficially exfoliate the skin, a stratum corneum depth peel, you'll stop when the skin starts to flush. This is the ideal depth peel for a problematic skin as all we really are trying to do is sterilize the skin and help it fight the bacteria. If we peel the skin to the point that it sheds and flakes, that shedding and flaking can mix with the oil being produced and create more breakouts. So this is why a level one depth peel for a problematic skin is the protocol of choice. And it can be repeated even daily for as long as the skin stays comfortable. A more anti-aging approach to peeling is a level two depth peel, where you'll stop when the skin becomes mottled. This level two depth peel, the skin will flake after two to three days after the peel. Clients will experience dryness and flaking. A level three depth peel, when the skin becomes dusted with light white frost, Clients will experience dryness and heavy flaking and sloughing after day three or four. This is not our ultimate choice for an acne protocol. Again, as the flaking may exasperate the problematic skin. So what we're trying to do is do a series of very light peels where the effects are barely perceptible. Viren's approach protects and promotes the healthy cells that do not need to be removed and we merely need to sterilize the skin. When we do heavy peels, we have the snake shedding its skin. This is better for thick skin, and this is what would be required. The benefits of doing a light series of chemical peels is that the healthy cells are acid resistant and survive. 
Whereas the damaged cells that are not acid resistant will not be able to protect themselves and will be removed. The skin will become smoother and it's going to also promote collagen formation. Collagen deposition, however, is only three to six months post-treatment. And another reason that peeling singularly for lines and wrinkles is not the best indication. The skin becomes dry for a while as the waterproofing barrier is removed and we melt those blackheads and allow for better extractions. This is going to reduce inflammation, kill bacteria, and refine those enlarged pores. Our peeling systems, the best treatment choice are trichloracetic acids. The creams are less volatile, slower working, and have a more sterilizing effect on the skin. Our acid cream mask number one is a 2.5% TCA for more sensitive skins. Our acid cream mask number two, 5% TCA, is an ideal treatment product for our acne clients. The peel is left on for a longer amount of time, so sterilizing the skin. With less destruction to the epidermis, less flaking is seen, so less risk for an acne type breakout post peel, leaving the skin susceptible to the chemical peel allows for better stimulation of growth factors and therefore a better result. Our more advanced peels are the gels. They come in varying strengths from a 1% meant to cool the skin to continue the action of the peel without discomfort to the client. Our 2.5% and 5%, 7.5% and 10% can be layered to increase the percentage on the skin. The lower the pH, the more corrosive the peel is on the skin. And as we increase the percentage, so the pH will lower. The TCAs will self-neutralize within 20 minutes or when dried out, but should be neutralized as soon as the, the required depth is achieved. So this is how the peels work. First, you'll paint on a thick gel evenly on the surface of the skin, cross-stroking to ensure an even application. Gel is a weak acid and contains few acid ions that are widely spread apart. The water will evaporate, and as this does, the acid ions come closer to each other and some of them come in contact with the skin. While the acid becomes more concentrated, the skin still feels cool because of the evaporation of the water from the gel. You'll then apply a second layer of gel on top of the dehydrated gel and that about that time the acid molecules from the first acid concentrate and the gel starts to penetrate the skin but the skin still feels cool. The second layer of acid gel evaporates and increases the number of acid ions in a thin layer on the skin. This has become more concentrated acid but the skin still feels cold. The heat of the acid is masked by the cooling effect of the evaporation. The third layer of gel cools the skin even further while more acid ions have come into contact with the skin and they penetrate into the epidermis. If you're started with a 10% acid gel, then by now you have about a 30% acid concentration. Many more acid molecules are penetrating the skin and the cells of the upper epidermis are being destroyed by the acid. However, the pH does not change. As the gel dries out completely, a lot of acid molecules have come into contact with the surface of the skin and it is being destroyed and removed, but not the important growing keratinocyte layer. At this stage, the skin does start to burn, but not severely. One would want to neutralize all residual acid when the depth of peel has been achieved. When working with a low percentage chemical peel, one can increase the depth by layering. A superficial peel will usually be between two or four layers. A medium depth peel, usually four to six layers. One can add steaming or massaging to increase the depth. Antifresis is also ideal with lacpam gel for a darker Fitzpatrick type that you're trying to treat. One can incorporate the beauty roller 
advanced for experienced technicians very familiar with environs peels. One can alternate one month doing a peels treatment with one month of doing nourishing treatments. If one wants to continue the action of the peel without discomfort to the client, you can add a layer of the 2.5% then cool with a layer of the TCA 1% or two layers of the TCA 2.5 and then cool with one layer of the TCA. This will continue the action of the peel, leaving it on the skin for longer, sterilizing it better, and allowing the pH of the, the skin to change, threatening the keratinocytes and stimulating them to release growth factors. There are some contraindications to peeling. To ensure the proper result, make sure the skin is prepared very well on vitamin A. Those undergoing Roaccutane treatments, one should wait 6 to 12 months post-commencement of their, their treatments before peeling. Pregnancy may not be a contraindication, but it's more about liability and those skins are sensitive during pregnancy. Those with diabetes or other major illnesses, skin diseases, those undergoing radiation treatments or those who spend a lot of time in the sun. One should protect the skin from fever blisters if breakouts are a routine occurrence. And clients with unusual expectations should be informed as to what to expect after a chemical peel. One would only peel the skin again once the skin is completely settled down from the previous peel. The skin should not be red, sensitive or flaking. For problematic skin, that superficial stratum corneum peel may be repeated daily as we are only intending to sterilize the skin and not flake it. One would leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes depending on the severity of the problematic skin. Our peeling procedure, the principle is that we first have to prepare the skin so that it will accept the special ingredients that we want to import into the skin. The client's consult is imperative to ensure your best results. Dietary improvements and stress reduction must be taken into consideration. It's their responsibility to commit to ensure the best results. Selling them a series is important for two reasons. Seeing them weekly will motivate them and keep them loyal so they'll see quicker results. And you can also change and tweak the regimen by being in constant contact. Series will allow you to offer a price break or even a reduction in the price. We do not recommend steaming during the prep phase as this will make the skin red prior to applying the chemical peel and we will no longer have a gauge to see how the skin is reacting. The steam creates erythema and while the peeling this redness may be confusing and give false signals to the therapist. One would remove eye makeup with the eye makeup remover and do a quick pre-cleanse just to remove environmental debris, removing that with a hot compress or towel. Then doing a pre-cleanse and a pre-cleansing massage will help really degrease the skin and remove follicular obstructions. Direct, apply directly on top of that the clay mask and massage the pre-cleanser with the clay mask to give a microfine exfoliation. One can remove the clay mask with a compress or do a clarisonic treatment. Cleanse with a cleansing gel and double cleanse if there is a lot of oil present. Remove all cleanser with a compress or hot towel. Tone with the toner forte on cotton and blot the skin. Then one is ready to continue with a suitable peel treatment option. Our Environ ACM number two cream peel. One can do six peels done one to two weeks intervals to start and then monthly to maintain. One can do a full facial protocol or just half an hour quickies. The heart full facial protocol will include a vitamin infused mask after the chemical peel. One should always explore the skin sensitivity and reaction to the peel. So your first peel, do a mild ACM number two for up to 10 minutes. 
After the peel, calling the client to ascertain the skin's reaction is imperative, so ensure that your client consult card is kept up to date. Subsequent peels can use the TCA gel, 2.5% up to 3 to 4 layers. One can continue this as long as they're not red or flaking. Our ACM peel, after prepping the skin, will protect the lips from fever blisters if that's a regular occurrence. Apply the acid cream mask evenly at the selected thickness on areas to be treated, crossing your strokes to ensure an even application. You'll leave the peel on for 10 to 20 minutes depending on the skin condition, adding steam or massage for a more advanced peeling effect. Remove with a damp compress, and if you're doing a 30 minute quickie, this is where we can add our moisturizer and recommended sunscreen. If we're doing a 50 minute upgrade, after cleansing off the chemical peel, we can apply a treatment gel and massage gently until absorbed. We can do the alternate mask and incorporate the DF machine for additional nourishment. Once the mask is removed, we can apply our moisturizer and our recommended sunscreen. The TCA gel, one would start by prepping the skin steps one through seven. We would protect the lips from fever blisters if that is a regular occurrence. Applying a 2.5% PAM gel evenly and crossing strokes to ensure an even application, allowing each layer to dry before applying the next layer. You will cool intermittently with a 1% if needed, but continue to see flushing or mottling until that is noticeable. So one to three layers will provide that moderate peel, Four to six layers will give you an advanced peel. But remembering, for a problematic skin, just a moderate peel is all is that is required to help sterilize the skin. We'll neutralize if any frosting is noticed and cleanse. If a 30 minute protocol is being followed at this stage, we can finish with our treatment moisturizer and our sunscreen. We'll cleanse the skin and apply the treatment gel and massage until absorbed, occluding it with the alginate mask and using the DF machine for extra nourishment if available. After 15 minutes, removing the alginate mask, applying your moisturizer with your recommended sunscreen. We have two advanced peeling options and these should only be attempted once the client has completed a course of milder peels first and the skin will flake considerably by the fourth day after the peel. So the two advanced peel options are the double six cool peel and the double cream peel. An indication for the advanced peels are very thick, very oily, coarse skins, and scars are ideal. Ensuring that the client has at least on moderate to high levels of vitamin A before progressing. The double six cool peel You'll protect the lips from fever blisters, applying 2.5% TCA PAM gel crossing stroke up to six layers, allowing each layer to dry before applying the next. Neutralize if you see any frosting. Apply a treatment gel and alginate mask and allow that to stay on for 15 minutes. One would then repeat the peeling the very next day or one week later and the repetition will result in a more intensive effect without being destructive or painful, it's going to give an excellent result. A double cream peel is not recommended for those with active problematic acneic skins, as this double cream peel is indicated more for thick, rough, photo damaged and acne scarred skins. After prepping the skin, you'll protect the fever blisters if they are a regular current, and one would employ the Beauty Roller for five minutes. After which, the ACM number two will be applied in select thickness in an even application. One can cover with cling wrap and leave for 20 minutes depending on the skin condition being treatment. After cleansing, one can apply the treatment gel and do a vitamin infused alternate mask, leaving that up for 15 minutes. Once the mask comes off, we can apply our moisturizer and our recommended sunscreen. One can repeat this peel the very next day or one week later. And again, the repetition results in a more effective treatment without being destructive or painful. 
Our basic guidelines to the peel are acid cream masks. Ensure that the cream is evenly applied by brushing first in one direction and then another. Average skins can be treated with the ACM number 2 for about 20 minutes. ACM number 1 is indicated for more sensitive skin. The acid cream mask and TCAs are the preferred treatment product for problematic skins. People with oilier, resistant skins may get very little reaction from 20 minute treatments. If necessary, we can use the stronger preparations in the TCA pan gels. Use of the steamer for the last 10 minutes will enhance the depth of the treatment. Our TCA pan gels, one would start the treatment by using the 2.5% TCA pan gels. Start by treating the forehead and work in the whole cosmetic unit. You load your brush carefully so that it doesn't drip, ensuring that there's enough gel on it to paint easily. One would first paint in one direction and then in the other to ensure even application. Blush should glide and the thicker the gel layer, the more intense the action. By the time that you have completed the application on the whole face, about 30 to 40 seconds, the client starts to feel some tingling. If they say it's too hot, then you can apply the TCA 1% in a thick layer and this will cool the skin. If you're exploring the client's patient's skin, then you could reapply the gel in successive layers if it's comfortable until you see the signs of reddening, then mottling of red, white and red, and finally very early frosting. Do not try for definite frost skin, frosting if you're exploring the client's skin. Here we have some typical results by doing a series of home regimen coupled with our professional peel series. These particular results were achieved after five months of everyday use of moisture gel and sunscreen. Thank you for joining today's presentation.